Well, it's been a year since 197 countries forged this agreement to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions. But compliance with the Paris Agreement on climate change is voluntary. Here to discuss climate change and the March for Science is Carrie Fulton. She's an advocate for environmental justice. Welcome to the broadcast, Carrie. Thank you so much. So a lot of people uh, have taken aim at President Donald Trump, uh, saying that his ideas to reverse certain um, implementations on climate change are wrong. Uh, what is your position on this? I think they are wrong. I think that as a world, we have to progress. We have to move forward. We have to think about how we're building a just, renewable energy economy that's good for all of us. And I don't think that some of the moves that Donald Trump are making are actually leading us to that. There may be some uh, interest from a certain base, but that base does not talk for the rest of the world or even for the rest of the United States. Um, are there a certain? Are there a couple of key points that you can talk about, um, and and why they're they're bad for our world and our global society? Definitely, I think some of the rollbacks on environmental protection. We had a really strong EPA under the Obama administration, and we need a strong EPA because the people who are hurt first and worst when it comes to environmental pollutants, they look like me. They come from the communities that I come from. So if we don't have strong environmental protections and regulations, then the people who get hurt first and worst are regular everyday American citizens who and have to breathe in And how is that? What do you mean by that? Well, if we don't have strong greenhouse gas emission regulations, if we don't have strong policy on reducing um, our use of coal, which puts out a lot of emissions, or uh, you know, reducing how much we're focused on diesel and maybe moving towards electric vehicles, maybe we're looking at different things so that we can reduce the amount of fugitive dust that comes from things like concrete plants or even um, closing down really dirty coal-fired power plants mm -hmm. that are in communities. Those are things that really play a key role in public health. In urban areas, urban areas, though. All and urban not areas. in urban areas all over the country, and also in rural areas. When we think about the Appalachian Mountains, we talk about bringing coal. We're also talking about bringing back black lung. Is that what we really want to do? I don't want to do that. Okay. We're also seeing new levels of skepti skepticism when it comes to climate change and vaccines. Tell us a little bit more about that, Carrie. Um, wow, climate change and vaccines. Um, I've never really thought about those two together like that. There is definitely skepticism when we think about vaccines. And I think that comes from a historical context mm -hmm. where people have seen where things were pushed onto communities, whether we're talking about the Tuskegee experiment, um, where then it was turned out to not be so great. Um, so I think there's legitimate fear but that's why we need to have strong science. That's why we need to have strong, clear, um, not confusing, very available Broad. to everyone right. science. What can the average citizen do? I mean, these, these protests are, are massive and they're a great show of support and force for science, but what can the average person do? I think it's important to know that it's more than just about science. Science is for the everyday person. And marches will continue to happen. Next week, there's a march, the People's Climate March, on April 29th. But every single person, especially if you're here in the United States, you have the right to lobby your government. No executive branch works alone. There's a legislative branch, there's a judicial branch, but we have the power over that legislative branch. We have the power to lobby. So in not just marching on Saturdays, we need to march on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays into Congress, into our city halls, and move for local, national, and also foreign change. All righty. Well, Carrie Felton, we certainly appreciate your time. Thank you for coming out on this very important subject Indeed. on Earth Day. Yes. Happy Earth Day. Have a wonderful one. You too.